Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. If a b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now, in this video, we're not going to need to refer to any of the axioms directly, but we are going to be using some results that we have proven from those axioms. One of those results is the following. For all real numbers x, x times 0 is equal to 0. We've also proven the cancellation law of multiplication, which says the following. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers with a not equal to 0. If a, b is equal to a, c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now we're trying to prove if a, b is equal to 0, then a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. And to prove that, let's suppose a, b is equal to 0. From here, the whole goal is to show that a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. In other words, we want to show that at least one of these guys is true. Now, we do know that either a is equal to 0 or a is not equal to 0. Now, if a is equal to 0, then we're done. We have that at least one of these guys is true. So now, let's consider the case that a is not equal to 0. Again, we want to show that at least one of these guys is true. Now, in this case, it makes sense to show that b is equal to 0. And to see how that happens, well, notice we have a, b equal to 0 by assumption. But by star, we have 0 equal to a times 0. So a, b is equal to a times 0. And from here, we're in a position to apply the cancellation law of multiplication. By the cancellation law of multiplication, since a is not equal to 0, we can cancel out the a on both sides, and we're left with b is equal to 0. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So putting this all together now, we see no matter which case we have, a equals 0 or a is not equal to 0, it follows that at least one of these guys is true, which is exactly what we wanted. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.